Hello, welcome back to a crash course in circuit theory. Now I will talk about the potentiometer. Uh, uh, the potentiometer is a variable resistor and using the theory of electronic systems we know that current is controlled by the value of the voltage and the value of the resistor. Now in this circuit the value of the voltage is 12 volts and the value of the resistor depends on all these four elements. Well the value of the switch uh, is very small so we normally ignore the resistance of the switch. The value of the lamp is a fixed value uh, depending upon uh, the voltage. Uh, this resistor here in series with the lamp is a fixed value and this value right here we can change between some number zero to another number uh, that's determined by the specifications of the potentiometer. For example, let's suppose that this was a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. What that means is that I can vary the potential meter between 0 ohms and 10 kilo ohms depending upon the position of the wiper or the position of the potential meter. You've seen these. These are basically the knobs that are used to control maybe the volume of a radio. And normally they're labeled from 1 to 10 or something. And you can move the position of the knob to correspond to how much volume you want. What you're actually doing is that you're actually controlling a potential meter. And you use this in your radio project in your first course when you took the electronic measurement and workshop course where you built the radio. And you were able to control the volume of the radio by varying the potential meter. What you're actually doing is that you're varying the total resistance in the circuit, which of course it controls the value of the current. And by controlling the value of the current, you're actually controlling how much energy is available for the lamp. So if you switch the position to zero, then of course you give maximum, you give a minimum resistance, which gives you a maximum current a minimal resistance would give you a maximum current. Likewise, if you move the potential meter to the 10K position, you are increasing the resistance, which means you are decreasing the current, which means you have minimum uh, energy for the lamp. Now the thing about a potential meter or a potentiometer is that you cannot instantly shift between 1 and 10. You have to go through all of these positions before you get to 10. We call that analog, which means it is a continuous movement or a continuous change in the voltage, as opposed to digital, where it was either on or off. You can see the difference between digital and analog behavior. So these are the two basic control elements in all electrical systems, whether it be a digital control switch or an analog varying potential meter. These two allow me full operation of the lamp, where I can switch the lamp on and off or control it to the proper level. These two combinations give me a wide range of opportunities to use this lamp. In the next video, I will demonstrate some of the options that you have when you use the switch and the potentiometer individually and together. Thank you.